so you can sort of see an angle of it, like this, but that's about it. Um, but here is the drive now. We need to power it off and take out of its connectors, and let's just point it up here where there's free space. Get that out of here. Okay, so. Give it a good shake and listen to that bad sound. Take our handy and screwdriver and our drive that are going to be sticking in there. Again, an 8 gigabyte drive. Apparently, I can't stick the screw in. This thing is hot. Like, it probably shouldn't be touching it. Actually, I can probably... Uh, we're done now. Okay. And I think there are only three screws, mostly because I lost one of the screws. Okay. Yep, there's only three screws. This out. I'm not sure what you guys are able to see. Yeah, that's uh, quite visible. Okay, do that. Take this toasty drive out of the sled. Okay, that is toasty, I'm, uh, I'm going to set that right there. Okay, and I'm not going to screw this in, even though I should, most likely. Okay. Well, technically, this is not a sled, it's an external drive, but who cares. Okay, and let's plug it in. Okay, power has been applied. Okay, so yeah, I'm just going to do I'm going to do screen stuff like like this. Okay, and actually, okay, this works. Okay, and also one of the reasons why I want to do it. Why I want to do this is one for an upcoming video and two. So I have a computer that I can use floppy drives on because I don't have a USB floppy drive. Okay, so let's minimize this. Just minimize all of this. Okay. And uh, now. Okay. So I'm not sure how well focus is going to cooperate. Okay, so let's go to Windows and see what this reports. Nothing. Let's go to Disk Management. Um. Hmm. Okay. Here's the drive. If I turn this on, oh, I just heard it click. <laughs> um, let's. Yeah, that's why I need to change the drive.
Yeah, I'm going to change the drive. Okay. The fact that I heard it click it makes me like not want to use this. So I'm gonna I'll just set this back over here and grab this. Which maybe it'll be nice and let me use it. Okay. <laughs> Shove it in. Shove that in. Oh wow, oh my gosh, wow, that actually worked. Holy crap, that actually worked. What? That, that should not have worked. And yes, this, this is Windows 98 on this. F. I should probably not show that because I'm not sure what personal stuff is on there. So I'm, uh... <laughs> let's... Let's do this a favor. <laughs> and put this out of its misery. Let's get power ISO. Just so I can actually write... The file that I'll need to write. Okay, open... Um... Windows 10 Windows and In fact if you can see down there at the bottom It's uh, For a DVD that has 4.7 gigabytes This ISO is too big Okay Maybe we can open up a Windows 7. Yeah, that seems more friendly. Okay. Okay. So let's do tools. Create bootable USB drive. I do not expect this to work. I expect it to go like in the utter an ultimate rejection bill. Uh uh. Mostly because of size. But I do not expect this to work. If this works, I'm going to be thoroughly, like, surprised. This is still, like, loud. Not enough for not enough space. Okay, let's. Uh, I don't really want to like cut power to it. You know what? Let's see if I can eject it. <sighs> no. Turn off, okay. So, let's try. Maybe we can repartition my video's drive. Or will it want to just take up the whole stinking space? Anybody else, I'm probably gonna have to set that as last option. Okay. There we go. So maybe maybe the drive that clicked earlier, maybe that will want to work now. Okay. I know I'm weak that I failed to put in a Molex cable, but those are actually pretty hard to put in. Don't judge me.
Okay. That cannot sound good. You can hear it is just sitting in its sled. Okay, I could take out the 60 gig drive that's currently in there, but I just see that being a problem because I want to install onto that. Maybe I could repartition it. Oh, now that's an idea. Okay, so here's the the IBM Activa. Take that out of here. Put its dumb little propite whatever it's called, screws into that bag and set that there. We're going to put... I do like about how this case, how it's so easy to get into it. Okay, simply just extract power and null X, null X ID. You know, I said that in the exact wrong order. Here's our drive. 60 gigs, let's see if it works at least, which I'm just going to, I'm not even going to take this out of its little bracket thing. Yeah, I'm positive that drive is just done for. I'd be surprised if like an insular just said like, like detected it, but in the utter rejection said, uh-uh. Okay, that, that hurts. For more than one reason. Molex is, as usual, pain the butt to get plugged in. Okay. And I know I should be ejecting it, but if it doesn't get detected in Windows, why... Why should I inject it? Okay, that's... Okay, cancel that. And, okay, Dropbox keeps being annoying. Okay, so I kind of don't want to nuke it out. It's a fresh installation of Windows 10, not Windows 10, Windows XP, but let me get a Cronus just to make a backup of it, just because I'm going to be a nervous freak. Okay. Um, okay. Optimize backup. No, what the heck? Disk and partitions. Full partition. Okay, that was helpful. Okay, cancel, cancel. Okay, you know what? Let's do like a. You know what? You know what? I'll just reinstall it. It's a fresh installation. Okay, let's do Windows 10, Windows ISO, options, tools. Okay, create this. Okay, so in Windows, I'm going to try to repartition this. So this uh, takes up as minimal space on the drive as it can. Just so I can later reinstall onto this. Oh god, this is going to be a disaster, isn't it? Oh my god. I see this being a problem. <sighs> well, let's see if this works. Because I'm not going to use my 320 drive. For one reason, one reason only, this has got like a ton of projects on it, and I don't want to nuke it out. 
but I'm going to have to do it anyway. Uh, ideally, I was going to use this like eight gigabyte drive, but apparently Windows is like, uh -uh, that's not gonna work. Okay, this isn't going to take too long as it suggests. You know what, I might... Okay, this is actually an idea I've got now. Okay, so let's stick this into the Dell. Um, and make this... And, like, repartition this. Um, repartition this so it's, like, the videos have just its own space. <laughs> okay. Let me break this down for myself. Okay. So, resize the partition so the video's partition just has the, um, just takes up as much space as it is right now. Um, so that way I can install, so that way I can install Windows 10 onto this. I could just clone over, like, my existing installation but like like I don't want to <laughs> um and then once the installation is done we'll use a Cronus um to clone it over onto the 60 gig so I can resize the video partition back on back to its normal size and also the and also the jumpers are probably going to be a problem. Oh yeah, and you probably also notice that that is so swivelly. Why is that? That swivelly. I know nothing about this tripod. Okay. Um. But here in just a second, we'll switch back over to the to the Dell. Um. And uh, you probably noticed this in the computer, but I'll show it again. Okay, so I've got a Windows 10 installation onto onto this. But first, before we do anything, we're going to reinsert my 320 gigabyte drive. Which again, I'm struggling to take that. <sighs> that hurt. Let's resize this, and while it's resizing, we'll. Um, I'll show you the main problem. Okay. Okay, so let's get Aomi. Yes, I've got everything existing. <laughs> Which I could use disk management, but like this one I feel like is so much more user friendly. Okay. So let's resize that. So 100 gigabytes, that's actually. We'll just let Windows do whatever it wants with that one partition. Apply it. Hopefully, it doesn't require a reboot. Oh, that's going to take an hour. Um, no. Let's just use disk management. <laughs> don't want to. <laughs> don't want to waste an hour. Don't want to take an hour at least. Okay. Um. Okay. So this is. Let's just hold down this until it says it will have to stop. Let's just do... And we want that to be about... Um... Okay, so... How big is that? 194.5. Here, 
let me get uh, okay videos 103.55 103.55 uh, times 1024 106 uh, oath okay so subtract that from 298.09 and so we need to do. Oh, that was in megabytes. Plus 298.09 minus um, 298. Um, what is it? Oh, 090. Oh. Equals about. One nine two zero five four point Okay, let's do that. I have no clue how bad this is. Oh god, that's actually probably going to cause data loss. Not sure if it's resizing it right now or what it's doing, this PC. I don't see the partition size changing. Let's pull up Task Manager, see if it's not. This is a, going to be a long video, isn't it? <laughs> this is what I'm worried about. Does it let me? It just let me close it out. Let's use Aomi. I trust him more than I do. <laughs> Disk management. And I mean, I'll take I'll take the cut that I have to do. Okay. Um, resize so that way it takes up like no space. Like it wastes no space. Apply. So go ahead, lock it. Um, no, probably, I'll have to cut here just so I can, like, actually, what, um, let me show you the main problem. Um, this this computer, it's got no, okay, it's got no, um, one drive slot, that's it, it's got Master and slave. Oh, let me. Oh, great! Now that's saying I've got to reboot. Um, can I do it like without rebooting? Please. Is it because it's failing at locking? It's probably what it is. Um, but we do have a workaround since. Uh, you cannot boot off of a slave partition or slave drive. Just take this out. I mean, you're not going to be using optical drives to boot it. We're just going to be using straight. Oh, that's right. Screws in get, get that out there. Okay. Um, we'll be using IDE to IDE. Um, so this should be faster. Theoretically. You know, so we should probably take the CD audio out. Ah, okay. So yeah, we can basically take out our CD drive, which you guys can't see that, but... We're going to be continuing to use it, but currently master will be, this will become, well, um, we'll slide this into here, and Whatever reason it's that it's hey, let's be stubborn as balls. 
Okay. And actually, I'll just do this. For convenience reasons, I would just use another IDE cable if I can find where it wants. Which I think it's in this one of the box. I had another IDE cable around here. I swear I did. I swear to God. <laughs> I just straight up lost it. <laughs> if I was going to use, oh, I guess I could like take that out of its cable management slot, just so it's just so I can use the drive in its like <sighs> Okay, so basically we'll do this. And this, most of there's like no real reason to connect that power. Um, okay. We'll take our mounting screws, and you can't see me install the drive because when I suck it, um camera angling, I should probably just like stay zoomed out. Um, but we'll dig into the goodie that is my bag of screws that should fit into the drive on nice. Okay. Okay. So here we've got some pretty Good screws, I'm guessing. Two, three, four. Okay, got four screws. That's all we're going to need. And I just lost one of them. Those are good with screws. Actually, I just dropped them. So I didn't lose it. Um, but I will cut back whenever the repartition is done. 